With 91 seconds on film, I'm Elizabeth Milnerick. Balanced between romantic comedy and drama, Then She Found Me is a well-made, if unadventurous, effort. Helen Hunt co-wrote, directed, and starred in the story of April Epler. Her man-child husband, played by Matthew Broderick, leaves her, and the next day her adoptive mother dies. In quick succession, her birth mother contacts her, she finds awkward but true love, and she discovers she is pregnant with her ex-husband's child. It's an overwhelming series of events, and Hunt communicates the emotional exhaustion by looking fragile and haggard. Her supporting cast, Broderick, Bette Midler as her birth mother, and Colin Firth as her love interest, all play familiar characters here, turning in solid if unsurprising performances. Paring down the emotional traumas and focusing might have improved things, but overall it's a competent, thoughtful directorial debut for Hunt. The movie would not be out of place on the Lifetime channel, but the strength of the actors and the honesty of the presentation set the film above most of that genre. Then She Found Me provides an interesting counterpoint to the new Sex in the City movie starring Broderick's real wife, Sarah Jessica Parker. While sex is Manhattan chic and April lives in an outer borough on a teacher's salary, both take us near the mental precipice of life without a man. In the end, however, they both chicken out and revert to form. I'm happy April finds love in a family, but it might have been more interesting and truthful to see her fulfilled on her own. With 91 Seconds on Film, I'm Elizabeth Milnerick. 91 Seconds on Film can be heard Thursday and Saturday at 2.20, Friday morning at 9.20, and Friday afternoon at 5.20.